Hi, I'm uh, Brian Jacobson. Uh, together with my wife, Dee Dee, we lead the an alumni church and donor relations here at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. Today, devotionally, I'm and uh, in, in my personal devotions, I'm reading through the book of Numbers right now. And there's this passage in Numbers chapter 27, verses 1 through 11, that talks about the daughters of Zelophehad that approached Moses with a request that they receive some land as an inheritance because their father, Zelophehad, perished in the wilderness and did not have any sons. And so they brought this request of Moses saying, should not our father's heritage uh, continue? And so I'm just going to read from verse beginning at verse 7 of Numbers chapter 27. What Zelophehad's daughter or are saying is right. This is now Moses having gone to God and said, what do you want me to do here with this? And God says, says this in response. What Zelophehad's daughters are saying is right. You must certainly give property as an inheritance among their father's relatives and turn their father's inheritance over to them. Say to the Israelites, in verse 8, if a man dies and leaves no son, turn his inheritance over to his daughters. And then there were several others that he mentioned here in the line of relatives. And then he concludes with this in verse 11. This is to be a legal requirement for the Israelites as the Lord commanded Moses. Well, I was struck by this. We have lots of passages in the Bible about how God sought after and looked after in particular women, a group of people, a demographic that is often minimized in in, uh, in those cultures. And I was just, it, I, was, I was struck and emboldened by the, just the, the boldness of these women. I was struck by God's kindness toward these women and towards women in general. But I, what it also said to me in a larger sense is that God has a plan. There's something about preserving the inheritance and a name that there's this idea that suggests that God is doing something more than just treating the daughters of Zelophehad fairly. No, there is a blessing that is intended to be passed down to the next generation, both sons and daughters. I was reminded of that verse in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 7 through 9, where Moses writes that the Lord did not set his affection on you, and choose you because you were more numerous, but because the Lord loved you and kept the oath he swore to your forefathers and brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery. Going on to verse nine, know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. Now, obviously there's some conditions here that we, we need to love the Lord. But I guess the, the thing that just spoke to me as a dad, as a relatively new grandfather, is this fact that God has a plan for the next generation. And that generation, is his intention is to bless that next generation. So wherever you are at, at in your journey of parenting as a, with young kids, teenagers, grown children, uh, grandchildren, wherever you're at with that, know that God has a plan and it is to bless the next generation. May we be faithful in passing on that, uh, maybe be faithful unto the Lord to pass on the best we can, our love for the Lord in a consistent manner. And may we see truly and believe and trust that he's always working and working to, com to accomplish what he inheritance for that next generation. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.